Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl TJ. I'm back with another video for you guys today. Okay, so I'm gonna take you along with me, y'all. And this, guess what? The gag in here, this is right here. This baby right here is synthetic. All this goodness, all this beautifulness right here is synthetic. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video, don't forget to stay tuned, subscribe, and turn your notifications on because there are more videos coming like such another video and today i'm about to get cute because it's friday i ain't got no job <laughs> so i'm just kidding but y'all i just want to get cute okay so i did go ahead and do my brows because like honestly i already have a brow tutorial up and i'm just trying to you know cut back one time so today we do have a synthetic unit here this is the outre lace front lace wig and this is this is a hd transparent lace this is in the color 1B. You can add heat to it up to 400 degree, degrees. Why well, I say degrees? Degrees. Yeah, so today's video is not sponsored. <laughs> I'll show y'all can make this happen though. You know, y'all can make this happen. So this is what she looks like on the pamphlet. All right, and this is how she comes, as you guys can see. Now, I don't have, sunlight is not coming through today. It's cloudy today. This hair looks like overall, as you guys can see. Oh, she still, you still got the hair net on her. So, look at this, y'all. This is some pretty body weight. Um, This is the construction of it, as you guys can see. I do believe, yeah, this is the only way you can wear it, y'all. Y'all see that? Y'all see, you only can wear it in the side part. And that's okay, that's cool. I've been doing a lot of middle parts, so it's okay it does have a comb and drawstring as you guys can see but y'all the hair feels soft without me running my hands through it like oh my gosh i'm super excited so we're gonna go ahead and put this on first we're gonna go ahead and do that i already did prep my hair like lay my baby hairs down i have my hair braided always in cornrows okay i have about eight cornrows four in this side four in this side and then i just go in with some um eco styling gel and just lay everything down okay so, like y'all see, it's baby hair is right on up in here. They gave us that. This is the part that it's giving me. I'm trying to be very careful with this because I don't want to mess it up. All right. As you guys can see, this is what is giving me. This is about to be so freaking cute. We about to be litty, okay? We about to be litty. This is not like a lace front. Well, it is. It's low-key lace front, so easy. But I, w I don't no you don't really have room to pluck let me come back up you don't really have room to pluck this unit to like make it lay down this this is one of those units that's just made to lay like that you know um you could put the baby hairs down but it's not like it's going it's not going to look like scalp if that makes sense it's, it's really not 355 maybelline this this is just my dubious face concealer in the shade seven i need it warmer okay so now i'm just taking my sonia kaushik beauty blender i said i was gonna use my elf but i'm not i'm gonna use that for my makeup because like yeah so i just washed this one out so i'm just gonna pour a little bit of the foundation on the back of this beauty blender just a little bit i wish uh maybelline came with the um a pump shade of concealer and just smudge that in there I'm going to take my comb and pat it like that. And then we're just going to push it on the back of the unit. Like that. See, there's nothing to it. That's all you do it. It ain't nothing to it. No, it's something about put your back into it. Alright guys, so you guys can see that it's fully covered. Now we're going to put this back on our head. So, <laughs> I just, like, some people can cut theirs off and wear it like this and it really looks natural. But, 
that don't look natural to me at all like i couldn't just pull this down and just go on about my merry way because that just don't look cute at all like i feel like i was gonna secure it no lie because i thought it was like a full lace unit but it's not so when it's not full lace i just don't even waste my time now i do do the edges though because i need those two these to stick down Okay, so we have both sides secure um don't do that secure down and we looking crazy y'all i'm telling you you really have to work with these wigs you got to make the wigs become you become the wig so now i'm just gonna do my baby hairs to the best of my abilities Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Got To Be Glue Ultra Glued Invisible Invincible Styling Gel. Okay. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Got To Be and mix it in there as well. Then we're gonna take our crusty Dusty Oh, some stinging me. Um, <laughs> edge brush, and we're gonna sweep these into place. Now let us get into formation. And this is just the part I play around with. Some days they're good and they swoop per to perfection. Other days, no. So while our edges are banking, I'm gonna go ahead and start to do my makeup. Now, like I said prior, I did go to Ulta and pick up a few items. Um, I tried to get more drug stuff, I mean drugstore products because I didn't have any. Not a lot, but also be getting on my nerves, okay? They be getting really on my nerves. So, I spent about $85.80 on some new products, trying new things. I don't even know if I picked up a primer. I was supposed to go and get a primer, but a drugstore primer, and I know I didn't. I just didn't. That's why it's okay, though. It's okay. I just be so much money like this, and um, this, and this, and some foundation. Like, how is this $85? Like, I'm trying to make it make sense. So, we don't didn't get a drugstore primer so sorry sorry so i'm just gonna use my fenty as normal um i should moisturize just a little bit i'm using nivea right now i switched between nivea and ponds i normally use ponds in the winter though but for the summer 
we're just gonna use Nivea to moisturize and this stuff smells good and it just makes your skin so soft y'all know I really went to the store with my face unmoisturized I just went and was like forget it all right so now I'm gonna use my Fenty primer because like y'all said So now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matteless Pore Foundation. This is in the shade 355 Coconut. I'm in love with the cocoa. So I'm just going to pour some of that on the back and dab it, dab it, dab it. This is my favorite, favorite foundation. Maybe it's Maybelline. But this is so freaking full coverage. I think my, my, uh, this is the elf sponge that I got too. Um, but I feel like it's too damp. It's like overly damp. <laughs> I should have wrung it out some more. But this right here, this baby. I love this foundation. So I'm super scared because I am trying a new, um, found, uh, what is it, concealer? I picked up two, well, I actually got three concealers, but. I might just get use the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer in the shade 45. This is my first time using this ever. I'm going to do Maybelline since I did use Maybelline. I want to see how light it is though. Okay, yes. That's it. That's it. I never had this uh, concealer before, so we're going to see what it's giving me. It does remind me of my Toffee um, shade though. So, I think I might like this. And I just love how it glides on. Smooth, buttery. I knew I was gonna love this. I knew it. This is about to be my favorite concealer. The test is, the true test is seeing how this freaking blends out. This blends out like gold. All right, y'all, I think we got a winner. Look at this. Yes, this is about to be my go-to concealer. And I'm so mad they only had one left. One left and 45. And I chanced it. And it was amazing. Like, oh my gosh. I thought it was going to be the wrong color. Too cool. Oh, I love how I'm looking right now. Look at that. Look at my skin. Like, look at my skin. Where? It looks so freaking good. I love this concealer okay so we're back and i just ended up with the revolution conceal and define conceal and define this is in the shade c16 this is what i'm gonna use the contour with because who knows where oh man got no brush who knows where i put my um elf so i'm just gonna take a blush i mean a brush <laughs> To go ahead and blend this out. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so I did get new setting powder. Um, I've been had these Fit Me foundation setting powders. This one's in the shade 30, and this one's in the shade Z35. I've been had these. However, I'm not too fond of these. I feel like they're too loose. They don't keep my under eyes set. So yeah, I did go ahead and pick up the Nate's Can't Stop Won't Stop setting powder. This is in the shade medium deep. I always stick this on last. I never put like a deeper color on first because I just don't like the way it looks on me. So we're going to try that out today with this, but I am going to set. No. Um, so yeah, I am going to set with the original Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is what I'm going to set underneath my eyes. Um, I bought this a long time ago. And I used to keep getting the wrong color, but this is the actual translucent shade. So we're just going to go ahead and stick this down here. And just blend it all the way out. And my battery won't die. Y'all just won't let me be great. I'm just going to blend that out under my eye. And press it onto my skin. 
and this powder smells so odorly like i mean not odorly like but it smells it has a smell to it and it smells like just an older woman in my personal opinion and there's nothing wrong with the smell but i could do with that this is one of my favorite drugstore powders though because it just does me right it just does me on like I said, I will look a little like go. Okay, before my battery really died on me, I was setting my face with the Airspun Transfusing Satin Powder, and I'm just finishing up doing that. So now I'm just going in with my ColourPop No Filter Press Powder. This is in the shade Deep Dark, and we're gonna go in and you know give ourselves a little contour. this is from milani this is called the make it last setting spray i know i'm not showing any of the products make it last setting spray okay so now we about to try the can't stop won't stop setting powder this is like to deepen everything down so i won't look like a clown and this is what this looks like. I don't know why I'm not showing the products. I mean, I guess it don't matter. It's not a tutorial or anything. So it's like a deep shade, as you guys can see. It's a little deep. I'm just gonna tap a little bit. Cause I don't know what this is about to do. Okay. Not too shabby. Okay, okay, not bad. Like I said, I didn't use a lot anyway, but. Or did I? No, not really. It just toned down that look. I'm just using the Wet n Wild Mega Wear um, mascara. And then I'm gonna put on some falsies. And I personally do not like the drugstore lashes. It's like, I'm used to thickness, volume. I like to see my lashes. Like, I can just wear my real natulas. I mean, real lashes if I wanted to, you know, have a, like a subtle look. My e.l.f. highlighter. And I'm just going to spray my new setting spray. Dust it through there. Damper some of it off on the back of my hand. And we're just going to lightly put some on. Okay, I said lightly, and I always end up dramatic. And then I'm going in with my Morphe. Um, bronze tour. This is a bronzer and contour. This is in the shade Show Mance, Show Romance, and I'm just using the darker color to deepen my contour. I'm just blend that over like that. So this is what my face is looking like. I love it. Okay, and this is drugstore besides the primer. But everything else says. So yeah, I'm about to put my lashes on. Now, like I said, I'm not too fond of drugstore lashes because they they're just too natural for me. Um, I did get the deal, I mean the duo brush orange strip adhesive. I normally just get the regular duo, the one that just squeezes out the tube, but they didn't have it, so this is what we're here with.
all right guys so the lashes are on i'm gonna go on with my maybelline exaggerate waterproof eye definer this is by rema london it's just a eyeliner i love this because y'all lashes all day Now I'm going in with my NYX um, lip liner. This is in the shade Espresso, and I'm going to line my lips. This is my favorite, favorite lip liner. Nine times out of ten, when people are asking me my lip combination, it's always this pencil. Always. Next, I'm going in with the LA Girl, I mean LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is in the shade AU Natural. This is so hard to find in stores, but it's on Amazon. I'll have it linked below. But I love this color on my lips. Like that. Now I'm going in with the Clear Gloss from e.l.f. That I picked up. And we're just going to top it all. I should have grabbed two. Because I go through clear lip gloss like it's nothing. And it smells so good. Yeah, most of the stuff that I noticed that our drugstore has a smell. All right, guys. So we are done with our face. All right, so we're gonna get right into this hair. Hopefully, it's it. it I don't know what is doing over here, but hopefully we can get this situated. Cause, mm, my look is coming together. So, hopefully, I don't look crazy. I'm gonna take this off. Okay, my baby hairs are still there. I'm so glad I didn't mess it up, y'all. Because I would have been pissed. Let me not talk to soon because I ain't even finished combing through it. But as you guys can see, I'm just lightly combing through it. Not being rough besides that part. I'm just taking my comb through it. I am getting snags and tags, y'all. I'm getting definitely getting snags with this. But I'm doing it this way so I can run my hands through it, okay? That's how you know it's fully detangled when you can just run your comb through it and your hands through it. Not a My dogs. But anyway, guys, look at this beauty. It's so beautiful. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give it my rating. I give this a nine and a half out of ten. And y'all gonna say what? Why? You just said everything was amazing. Blah blah blah. Y'all, we gonna. I'm not even gonna care with y'all. This unit was giving me a little problem when it came down to tangling. If it wasn't for that, this unit would have been exactly a 10 out of 10. Period. Point blank. Period. But um, but I showed you guys um, it, you know, doing those little single knots on me. I don't know what that was about. I don't know what that was at, all about at all. Like, look, here it is again. It's like, it's giving me those little knots. It comes right out, but still, it looks amazing, guys, okay? I did get shedding. I did get shedding, so don't, don't, don't come for me, because I didn't tell you it wasn't going to shed. It's going to shed. Now, it's not shedding like it's just coming out in clumps, but I did get shedding here and there. And then, um, I wish, however, that this was a frontal. If this was a frontal, this unit would have been bomb. Even though it's still bomb. I don't like the way I did my baby hairs. I just don't. Because I feel like I can't blend it the way I would like. Um, I can't. I didn't like how it looked without using the baby hairs either. It just didn't look realistic to me. It just looked fake. I don't know if this has the combs in here. But I need to secure it. Because my, my part keeps going from like this to this. 
and I'm like, I don't know what's going on. So, um, yeah, but like I said, y'all, this was just an uh, overly pretty unit. Um, I wouldn't say this is an everyday unit. I don't, I say that with all synthetic units, they're not made to be worn every day. Special occasions, special events, yes. See your prom, see your pictures, yes. Stuff like that, yes. But outside in the winter, the beach, just don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Why would you do that? Like, my personal opinion, I feel like synthetic hair is not made for wind because it just goes like. <laughs> Something with winter come, pull out all your synthetic shoes, but you going out here on this beach. Don't do that. Don't 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 do that to yourself. So, but um y'all, this is so pretty. I'm super excited and let me just stop rambling because the hair speaks for itself. So like I said, nine and a half out of ten. My boo, this is a bomb hair. If I was you, like I would copy. Like I'll try to do that thing on the June and that's on period. So hope you guys enjoyed. So, let me know you guys' thoughts on the entire look. This is just like my everyday makeup look, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.